In today's video, I am going to give you a complete breakdown of Apologia Zoology 2 while doing a lesson with us. And I've got a fun surprise for my kiddos that they have no idea about. So make sure you stay to the end. We're gonna talk about racing rays. When I was a child, I once saw rays jumping out of the water and seeming to fly through the air like bats popping out of the ocean. One after another, these racing rays swam and flew, swam and flew. God designed these graceful creatures with unique pectoral fins that are attached to their bodies from front to back. Look at this. Ooh. From front to back. You see that? Apologia's Swimming Creatures of the Fifth Day is a Charlotte Mason style living book with 14 lessons. Each lesson takes approximately two weeks to complete. The updated second edition has new and updated content, an additional lesson, a fresh design layout, revised lesson order, beautiful images and visuals and new activities. They offer a very engaging audiobook, which is great for students who learn best when they can hear. Okay, so this is the hagfish. You guys want to see more real life pictures of the hagfish? There is also the course website. It is designed to link you to materials that relate to the Zoology 2 book. Look at these electric rays. Ooh, I After this, guys, what we need to do is we need to add eight to 10 drops of food coloring and mix with a spoon. Sila, I'm gonna have you mix and I'm gonna do the- It includes six to 10 fun and safe hands-on activities. These activities are, to, are integrated within each lesson. They are designed to do in your home, yard, and the surrounding environments. It does a good job of breaking up text and brings alive what your child just read. It also provides a really good supply list in the index, which keeps it easy and streamlined, which for us homeschooling mamas is a must. My kiddos had a blast doing this activity and we learned so much. What does the hagfish do, do when it's trapped? It releases it 10 times. It's like a body weight in slime. Vomit. Let's make some hagfish vomit. What? Wait, we're going to pour it out? Oh, it's dripping. Yeah. It's what? Okay, ready? All right. Go. Vomit. You got to do it quick. Turn on the uh-oh. Hey. Uh-oh. That's right. Yeah. Oh. Wow. It's, uh, it's oh, I want to touch it. Stop, stop. I want to touch it. This is hey. elephant. Hagfish does not disappoint. <laughs> I want to wow. touch it so bad. Can That's I touch so it, Mommy? It's yeah, warm. It's warm. <laughs> it's warm. It's... How do we feel about hagfish vomit? Yeah. Cool. Amazing. I want yeah. it for my birthday. Something. Look. I want to do it on a larger is scale. Now. I got you. Everything is Go pink. Go back in. It's pink. Yeah. Can we make it's some right. blue? So the other really cool optional aspect to enhance your students' experience is the notebooking journal. This is meant to be used as like a personal journal. It is full of color. It offers a suggested two day a week schedule, which is very, very convenient and just good to have. In addition to that, at the beginning of every lesson, you will find a coloring page as well as a fascinating facts and reflection page that takes the science from just being only about presenting facts to internalizing it 
so that it's not only what they are learning, but it's also what it means to them in their lives. So it just helps them to dive deeper into the different concepts and things that they're learning. It also has activity documentation pages. This is meant to encourage children to practice simplified, very simplified scientific method by documenting the process and outcome of each textbook activity. So simply what I did, what I learned. There are additional activity pages in most lessons, which gives your child the opportunity to do some hands-on cutting and pasting type things. So like making mini books and different things like that. In addition to all this, you'll come across vocabulary review pages, which are provided to reinforce new words and concepts. As well as these creativity pages. Now these creativity pages are where your kiddos can document additional materials that they read or videos that they watched or places that they visited that are relevant to their lesson. And these are not included in the daily schedule that's in the front, but they're provided for you to take it just that step further if you want to. So keep in mind, all of this is optional and should be used to enhance a lesson and make it fun, not stress your kid out more. As you can tell, we love Apologia. We love all the hands-on activities. That's what really brings it alive for us. So definitely check out their site. Yes, baby, yes. So definitely check out their site. You will love this curriculum. It is so much fun. Guys, do you know where we're going? Yes. You have a guess? Yes. yes no, I don't He's know. wrong. He, th he thinks we're going to the YMCA and we're not. What do you, final guess? Expiration place. I got it. It's been there before. We actually have like a time. I guess we'll see. I know, I know. Um, um. Yeah. <laughs> Right. This science does such a good job at encouraging you to get out there and get in nature. And so I took the opportunity to do it and it was well worth it. Check out the link in my description for an additional discount off of this curriculum. And you will not regret doing this science with your kiddos. The revised edition has just been the icing on the cake to an already amazing science program. Oh my gosh, there's one coming. Yeah. 